Epistemological problems are concerned with the nature, scope, and limitations of knowledge. Epistemology may also be described as the study of knowledge. In this video, I present to you five philosophical and solved problems related to epistemology. Plato suggests in his book Meno that knowledge may be defined as justified true belief. For over two millennia, this definition of knowledge was accepted by subsequent philosophers. Hello, An item of information, justifiability, truth, and belief were seen as the necessary and sufficient conditions for knowledge. But in 1963, Edmond Gettier published an article in the journal Analysis, a peer-reviewed academic journal of philosophy entitled is justified true belief knowledge, <laughs> which offered instances of justified true belief that do not conform to the generally understood meaning of knowledge. Gettier's examples hinged on instances of epistemic luck, cases where a person appears to have sound evidence for a proposition, and that proposition is in fact true, but the apparent evidence is not causally related to the proposition's truth. Oh, no. And so, in response to Gettier's article, numerous philosophers have offered modified criteria for knowledge. There is no general consensus to adopt any of the modified definitions yet proposed. Finally, if infallibilism is true, that would seem to definitively solve the Gettier problem for good. Infallibilism states that knowledge requires certainty, such that certainty is what served to bridge the gap so that we arrive at knowledge which means we would have an adequate definition of knowledge. However, infallibilism is rejected by the overwhelming majority of philosophers. And for a moment, the complication posed by get your problems, philosophy has essentially continued to operate on the principle that knowledge is justified through belief. The obvious question that this definition entails is how one can know whether one's justification is sound. One must therefore provide the justification for the justification. That justification itself requires justification, and the question continues interminably. The conclusion is that no one can truly have knowledge of anything, since it is, due to this infinite regression, impossible to satisfy the justification element. In practice, this has caused little concern to philosophers, since the demarcation between a reasonably exhaustive investigation and superfluous investigation is usually clear. The Molyneux problem dates back to the following question posed by William Molyneux to John Locke in the 7th century. If a man born blind, and able to distinguish by touch between a cube and the glob, were made to see, could he now tell by sight which was the cube and which the glob, before he touched them? The problem raises fundamental issues in epistemology and philosophy of mind, and was widely discussed after Locke included in the second edition of his essay concerning human understanding. A similar problem was also addressed earlier in the 12th century by Ibn Tufayl in his philosophical novel, Hay ibn Yaqdan. His version of the problem, however, dealt mainly with colors rather than shapes. Modern science may now have the tools necessary to test this problem in controlled environments. The resolution of this problem is in some sense provided by the study of human subjects who gain vision after extended conjectural blindness. In one such study, Subjects were unable to immediately link objects known by touch to their visual appearance, and only gradually developed the ability to do so over a period of days or months. This indicates that this may no longer be an unsolved problem in philosophy, fact or opinion. The Munchausen Trilemma, also called Agrippa's Trilemma, purports that it is impossible to prove any certain truth even in fields such as logic and mathematics. According to this argument, the proof of any theory rests either on circular reasoning, infinite regress, or unproven axioms 